Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with Crypto Heidi. How are you doing today, Heidi? Hi, hi, Rich. How are you? Hi, I'm Crypto Heidi. I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm so happy to speak with you again. It's been, what, maybe about a month since we talked. So many things yeah. have changed in the cryptocurrency world, and I think it's a good time for us to have a discussion and just talk about the landscape of the cryptocurrency industry right now. So sure. let me just start with that. How are things going? Oh, do you mean the crypto industry or yes. how about my project? Yes, your project, crypto industry. I want to know about you, Crypto Heidi. What's going on with Crypto sure. Heidi right now? Yeah, so Crypto Heidi still interview local projects and investors, and definitely um, people are saying like volume of the trading of the crypto space is really low. Everybody are waiting to see if the chain is moving up or moving down. Okay. At this moment today, a lot of people are saying like might be away from the the bull bull market. You're kind of bearish. So also, um, also just say like people are wondering. Oh, sure. So if the Crypto space is not um, the hottest at the moment. So what's the next investment you should look at? That's why I'm talking with you about my audience. You want to see what's, what do you have other sayings as suggestions? Of course. Well, anyone who's been watching Rich TV Live knows that I am the number one cannabis channel pretty much in the world right now. And we talk stocks 24 hours a day. We've built a really strong community talking about cannabis stocks and cryptocurrencies. But because the cryptocurrencies have really slowed down in 2018 and kind of just stalled, um, a lot of the community members, including myself, have decided to focus on cannabis stocks. And there mm. are some cannabis cryptocurrencies like Potcoin, GanjaCoin, just to name a couple. So there are a lot of similarities between can cannabis stocks and cryptocurrencies. In fact, right now, cannabis stocks are up across the board over the last two months, over 50%. And legalization of cannabis is happening next week in Canada. So Ooh. Canada is legalizing recreational cannabis. So every Canadian is going to be able to grow four plants as of next week at their home. You're going to be able to have cannabis at your home. You're going oh, to be yeah. able to legally buy it, have it on your premises, without any issues from the government or the police. It will be legal oh as of next week. So it's created a huge bull run in the cannabis sector, specifically in Canada and in the United States. And we've been watching it very carefully and we're very excited about what's happening in the industry. Oh my God. So, okay, let's talk about something. I, I, I've heard people used to, to grow the cannabis in their closet, right? That's right. Turn the lights on, how that works. So if people want to grow the cannabis in their house, so it must be a place they can buy seeds, buy plants. Yep. And, and what's the process? Like they can just grab plant on the patio or how about sunshine? Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally you can grow it in your garage, in your house, in your backyard. You okay. have to you have to know what you're doing. You have to get the seeds. I've never done it, okay? But okay. for the people that have done it, you need to have seeds. You need to have the right soil. You need to have the right nutrients to feed the plants. You have to have the right sunlight. You have to have the right water. And it's like anything. It's like a baby. you got to give it love and attention. <laughs> and it grows. And if it grows a lot, you can win the jackpot and get a lot of cannabis, which can oh save God. you a lot of money. And, hey, a lot of people are doing it. So it's a pretty exciting time. Rich TV Live in our community has really grown a lot <laughs> in the last few months. And we've really become one of the top channels talking and focused on cannabis stocks and sure. we're excited about what's happening. I'm not just mm -hmm. investing in the stocks. I'm actually working with cannabis companies and I actually own my own. I'm a part owner of a CBD company. CBDs are medicine, which mm -hmm. they take from the cannabis plant or from hemp and then they extract it and then they create CBDs, which is like a medicine, which can come in the form of like a gel capsule a gummy that you eat. It's like a skin cream. You can put okay. it into anything. They're even putting it into drinks now. They're putting it into water, beverages. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's getting crazy and it's and it's non-THC. So there's no, there's no hydroponic THC in it, which is going to give you the feeling of being high. It's actually oh, yeah. just takes the medicine and it's helping people with cancer 
helping people with epilepsy, helping people with seizures, helping people with headaches, aches and pains, fatigue, you name it. It's like a wonder drug. And there's literally hundreds of different things that it can help. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. You know, yes. I was even from China and this is totally illegal in China still right now, right? It's actually, yeah, it's cool. actually illegal. Oh it's still illegal in Canada. It's a gray area. It's still illegal oh. in America. It's kind of a Schedule 5 drug. CBDs are now in America. Cannabis is still a Schedule 1 drug in America. But some countries all over the world are starting to get legal now. And Canada is going to be the first country in the world to go legal out of all the G7 countries. So mm. out of the seven G7 countries, Canada is the first to go legal recreational, but I believe it's going to be like a domino effect. And once Canada goes legal, a lot of other countries are going to follow suit. Sure. Probably will be the Washington state where it's my second hometown. Well, Washington <laughs> is already legal. Uh, Nevada is already legal. Colorado is already legal. California is already legal. So they're starting to get legal in America. Pro uh, state by state, it's getting legal in America, but it's not legal okay. federally yet. Oh, got it. Okay. So if people don't want uh, to plan the plan, so how do you get into the investment? You so can, like, should they go to a stock exchange? And which one should they, how do they start this? Well, if you want to learn, you can go to www.richtvlive.com. Go to my website. I've got tons of tools I use there that are absolutely free. Follow me. Subscribe to our channels. <laughs> you can join our WhatsApp group. I have many groups, about 20 uh -huh. different groups. And all we do is talk stocks 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have cryptocurrency groups where we talk about cryptocurrencies. We have our own social media platform that we're growing very quickly where members can ask questions and get answers in real time. So we are looking to be a free community for investors, education, um, entertainment, and just chatting. And that way people can learn. They can set up their accounts, learn how to do it. And it's really easy and we can help everybody set up accounts and we can help, help everybody learn about investing in the cannabis sector. Got it, got it. That's so different. <laughs> it's so very, different. it's actually very similar to cryptocurrencies. If you can set up an account and trade cryptocurrencies, then you can uh -huh. set up an account and buy and sell stocks. In Canada, sure, sure. I use TD Bank and RBC, direct investing. Mm -hmm. In America, a lot of investors are using E-Trade. A lot of investors are using Fidelity. A lot of investors are using TD Ameritrade. Yep. Overseas, people are using interactive brokers. So okay. there's so many different ways that you can get involved. And you don't have to be in Canada to buy Canadian cannabis stocks. Oh, got it. Got it. That's really cool. Okay. Something updates about my part. This is the last time we, we have invitation to you to come to have a party in San Francisco. Yes. That's too bad you cannot join us. But we have so many people are cool people from everywhere come to join us. We we'll have a really cool party in San Francisco. So that there was a bunch of uh, conferences, like Litecoin Summit, and also like um, uh, the, wor the world, uh, a blockchain. Uh, what's the name? Okay. Another event. Another event. But Litecoin Summit is pretty cool. People are talking about anything over there. So we really learned a lot of things. Which uh, which, uh, which cryptocurrency enthusiasts were there? Can you name a few of the bigger uh, cryptocurrency uh, channels that were there so our audience knows who was there? Oh, sure. So there's Crypto Beatles, Crypto, um, uh, crypto Bobby, oh, very and good. Uh, crypt, uh, Crypto Love. Very um, good. Oh, a bunch of two, I think three, three YouTubers from Canada come over. There's nice. speaking speak sessions. And also there's Crypto... Um, as a crypto professor and a crypto, okay. another name I just forgot, but there's three people from Canada. Very here. good. Well, hopefully yeah. the next time you have a function, I'll be available. We've been super, super busy with everything happening, but um, I will definitely try to make it to the next function. If, yeah, you're, I think, if you're ever in Vancouver, you know I'm here. You can holler at your board. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I also made a trip to um, um, Toronto and I see Very the nice. environment over there is much better than in the U.S. People are still very, very excited about yes. crypto space. And I, I just I just believe the legal part is more open over there. Canadians are long term investors. We're more <laughs> conservative. We're long term. We're not um, looking for some of us are. We're not as quickly looking for instant gains. We're uh -huh. more long term investors. So 
we're okay with waiting long term as long as we can make money. So you're okay. going to see that there's a lot of Canadians that are still believing in cryptos because they know that it has exploded before, so it can explode again. Sure, sure. Okay, for our updates about our project, so we have our first uh, application right now. As you know, we have a crypto influence. Um, yes. which we, right now we build the live theme of everybody's video right now. So if people go there, for example, if our this video uploads to YouTube, it will be automatically show um, crypto influence right away. Oh, wow. That's a new feature. Exactly. That wasn't like that before. Yeah, yeah nice. so that way at least can give us more views, especially for little, little channels like my channel just started If without collaborating with you guys. You know, it's really hard for people to find me on YouTube. But however, we aggregate everybody together in crypto influence applications. So everybody goes there to watch all the crypto investments, in, including your, your video all day long. And they don't be bothered by other channels like music or kids or other, other channels they subscribe to from the YouTube. So is it just, will you post just cryptocurrency videos? Because like someone like me, I do videos about everything. So mm -hmm. do you show all the videos, the most recent all video? Videos. Yeah, okay. all videos. So Perfect. we are one of the people over there. So we do have over, I think, over five hundred people uh, there. Wow. And also today, I think Adam's going to prove another hundred people waiting in line to be there. Wow. <laughs> we have a lot of people's video. It's this growing. One, one. So yeah, I right now this is one of the first applications that our company builds. I don't know lawyer user, right? Loyal user right now. I use it when I was in the. Uh, gym working out, so what, that's something I'm watching the whole time. Like to say, watch all the videos about crypto and investing. Very good. Well, hey, you have to be loyal. If you're trying to build something, you know that it's like a baby. I always tell people, when you have something small that you start, like a business, it's like a baby. Whether it's a stock, a cryptocurrency, any investment, mm -hmm. it's a baby. If you're sure. a day trader, you're never going to see that baby grow, ever. You see yeah. the baby for one day, the next day you're out of you're out and you're not gonna ever see that baby grow. But if you're a long-term investor, you can get a chance to see Bitcoin go up from under a penny <laughs> all the way to six thousand US. That's how you become rich by being a long-term investor. But if you're a short-term investor and you got in at a penny, sold at two cents, hey yeah, maybe you made a hundred percent. But if mm -hmm. imagine if you got in a penny and waited. And just said, you know, I'm going to forget about this for a few years. And then you look yeah. back, and a few years later, nine years later, you look back, you're like, oh my goodness, Bitcoin's at 6,000 US. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's the way I invest. That's the way my community invests. I think long term. Look for undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed investments and invest long term. Okay. And awesome. that's why I don't get concerned if a stock goes down or cryptocurrency goes down because I'm actually looking at buying more. Mm -hmm. okay. Lower my cost, accumulate more, wait for it to come down all the way to the bottom. I watch it like a hawk. I date it. It's like dating. You watch it like a hawk. See when it's at the very bottom, you buy it then. And then when it explodes up, you get out. And that's how I trade. And as soon as I see a profit, 10% or more, I'm always willing to take it. Now, if I'm thinking long term, I'm just going to forget about it. I'm not even going to worry about it. And I'll wait till later. But if it's, you know, something that I want to... Maybe I've been down on it and I'm not sure. And now I'm up 10%. Take the money and run. And that's how mm -hmm. I trade. And it doesn't matter if it's cryptocurrencies or stocks. I always trade the same way. Got it. That's, yeah, that's, that's very useful. Okay, we also have another update. It's our game framework. So right now we have first crypto game. It's similar to FOMO 3D, but however, when people saw how that work is, um, the game is having 1,000 people to participate. Everybody buy 0.1 Ethereum um, as a ticket to get in. The winner will have 15 Ethereum every turn at the lottery. Wow. Whoever, so whoever didn't win will get our token instead. So our company token as a, as so is similar to you are buying our token. So this is the other one. So we have that game there, uh, not only to, to test it out, also this game can, so anybody, if you want to use a framework of this game, we can make their game, similar game like this. Oh, very good. I like that. That sounds fun. <laughs> I mean, everybody likes these games. And if you can get play a game and get cryptocurrencies, I think that's genius. I love yeah, it. I, I love it. When I got into cryptos, it was fun. It okay. was getting free cryptos, making money, and then it changed. It got harder. Mm -hmm. 
And usually in industries and investing, that's what happens. And when it gets harder, the dust settles, all the weak scatter, and all the strong will rise. <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing is happening in the crypto space right now. And I'm excited to see how you guys are going to continuously sure. grow because you're still growing in the industry, regardless of the fact that the industry has had some tough times. And yeah. you're going to come out the other side of it when the industry starts to explode. Smart. Sure, sure. So, okay, last question for you. Um, so, like, do you see, so definitely this year, the stocks are doing great, so not only cannabis, right? Other stocks are not bad. Fair. But crypto is just very, very slow right now. People are waiting to see if anything's changing. Do you think, so I have seen people say, like, Bitcoin maybe reach 10K end of the year. What do you think? Yeah, you know, we're running out of time. I thought so too, but I honestly have not seen crypto do anything for so long that I honestly don't know. I don't okay. know. So it's yeah. very difficult for me to say. I thought it would be hitting 10,000 by now too, or it's sometime before the end of the year, but it yeah. hasn't. So I honestly don't know. I'm just sitting waiting. I still hold a lot of cryptos. I'm just waiting, watching. And just kind of waiting for a catalyst for the market to turn around and get ex to get explosive again. I sure. haven't seen it yet, so I'm just waiting patiently like everybody else. Great, great. Okay, wow, this is really cool to catch up with you. And okay, I will learn something from your website to see what that uh, stock trading is like. Yes, and if you need anything, guys, you can reach me at richtvlive.com. You can follow me on all my social media platforms. You can subscribe to my channels. And if you have any questions, just contact me. I'm an easy guy to talk to. Um, you can contact Crypto Heidi if there's anything you need as well. <laughs> She's very easy to talk to, very pleasant person to talk to. Crypto Heidi, you are doing amazing. You are going to explode in the crypto sector. I see what you're doing, interviewing all the cryptocurrency enthusiasts. I love what you're doing. And I wish you all the best of luck, Crypto Heidi. Keep up all the great work. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rich. I will see you again. Always a pleasure. Peace. Okay, bye.